yes. I'm absolutely buzzing. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new here. For today's video I have a Chinese mukbang. Now I am set up a little bit different than I usually am. The lighting's a bit different but we're going to go with it, right? You can't really see the best bits. This is my go-to Chinese food order. I was going to do something like authentic but I craved what I craved basically, right? So in this tub here we have salt and pepper chips with chicken. Crispy chicken wontons with sweet and sour sauce and then we have a pecan sauce. So this is my go-to Chinese food order. It's what I fancied. I didn't fancy the other thing I was going to order but Chinese food is my favourite food ever. So there will be a lot of Chinese food mukbangs so I'll get round to doing all of them. Mm. I really hope this setup is fine. I know we can't really see what's in the food very well but I'll get the hang of it right I'll get the hang of the perfect setup how to like perk up the food the way I want it like even a wee ledge would be fab let's see let's see if I can make it a bit better Right, even that little pear cup has done wonders. Right, so I'm just going to get in about it because I am so hungry and I've been craving this. Mm. So, let me just munch. I think these are chicken. The last time I got them they were chicken, but it's getting, I'm getting a bit confused because the meat in it's so dark this time so let's see it's still chicken and we've got sweet and sour sauce at the front I really wish Chinese food here was like the Chinese food in America. It looks so much better. But this is my favourite Chinese order at the moment. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh my god. Here is a big bit of salt and pepper chicken, right in the pecan sauce. Mm. So today is Sunday and I've been filming a day in the life, so you'll probably see that as well today. Um, I'm cleaning out the house. I say cleaning out the house, I've literally only got one bag, not even full, and that's from the bedroom and the living room. And I really don't think, I really don't think there'll be any more. Oh my god, I nearly just bit into a big onion. Um, but that's what I've been doing today. <clears throat> Salt and pepper chips are honestly my favourite thing for the Chinese. I actually don't know when salt and pepper became a thing. Like everything is salt and pepper these days. I hate silent mukbangs but 
this one is going to be predominantly silent because I'm hungry. I just want to eat this. I'm so concerned, why are these wontons like brown? So like I said, there will be a lot of Chinese food mukbangs coming on my channel because Chinese food is my favourite takeaway food. I do want to start changing up my order a little bit though because this is my most ordered order from the Chinese and I also or only order for one Chinese now. And this is Peking House, I love it. It's so salty, especially the salt and pepper stuff. So, so salty. Mm. But there will be a lot of Chinese food mukbangs. There's different combinations I want to try. I mean, I should be dieting because I need to be in a bikini in April, but I will just maybe limit how much takeaways and stuff I eat until I go. And I might start exercising, but it's fine. I'm really not caring about that at the moment. Mm. Pecan sauce is honestly my favourite sauce of the Chinese. Let me know what your favourite is down in the comments. <clears throat> I'm honestly too hungry to even speak at this point. So yeah, just been tidying out the house today. I have the kitchen and bathroom to do. I really thought there would be so much more stuff that would be for the bin, but there's really not. And I mean, I thought personally I would have so much stuff that I need to throw out, but clearly not. There's not been a lot. I feel like this light in is really bugging me. That'll have to do. I think I'll need to have another clear out when Harry's home um, because there's some things that maybe I would throw out but Harry wants to keep so I have left a lot of stuff that belongs to him for him to clear out on his own. 
Also, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and you don't know what the hell's going on, um, me and my partner Harry are moving out in April, so I'm like having a clear out before it comes to April, so we don't have too much stuff to take to a new house with us. I feel so strange barely talking because in mother mukbangs I always say I hate silent mukbangs but then sometimes I don't have anything to talk about so I end up talking for 20 minutes and barely eating not today I just want to eat and that's the full point of this video actually This is definitely what I needed to do. I might ask Harry if he wants to do a mukbang with me. He's on a health kick at the moment though, so probably not. I honestly wish I had the confidence to do a mukbang like fully silent. Um, there's a woman on here, um, an Asian woman, I'm not sure what party, not sure exactly where she's from, but she does really silent like just background noise, um, they're honestly amazing. And she's got millions of subscribers. I've honestly ate this so quickly. I have three wontons left and I've only been recording for 13 minutes. <clears throat> Maybe it would be better if I didn't speak at all. Sometimes I feel like the speaking makes my videos last longer, which it does. Honestly, can't remember the last time I even had a Chinese. I've got it written down on my phone because I'm trying to keep track of how many times I eat out or get a takeaway because I'm trying to cut back. Like, if you follow my food Instagram, you'll see how frequently I get a takeaway, and there's just no need for it. Like, there's no need for me to get it tonight either. Um, I have plenty of food in my fridge and freezer and cupboards. We just went shopping during the week. There isn't a need for me to get this takeaway, but it's that time, ladies, so... The heart wants what the heart wants. And Rihanna's heart gets what Rihanna's heart wants. Hmm? Made sense in the end. Oh. Just unreal.
I've recently started watching a new mukbanger because before I've stuck to the same ones because I would try and branch out and watch different people but they just bugged me, right? Nick Cado Avocado, he used to be unreal before all the drama started. Well, fake drama. I cannot be bothered with that. But this guy called Vartan Fresh, he does amazing mukbangs. I enjoy watching him so much. So he's been my favourite mukbanger as of recent. I can't believe how quickly I've ate this. Like, I am so hungry. My mind has went blank for any, anything to talk about. Like, my mind is so blank. I'm just thinking about shoveling this out of my mouth. And that's it. I really hope our next house we can have a dining table in it. That would make filming these so much easier because I'm currently sitting on the floor. Last bit of chicken. Last one, Ton. I'm gonna need a lie down after this. I have inhaled this food. Inhaled it, but my last crispy one, Ton. So that is all I have for my Chinese food mukbang. There will be plenty more. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang even though it was predominantly silent. I know some people prefer mukbangs like that. They're not preferably my style but when I'm hungry that's the type of mukbang that you're gonna see. So that's all I have for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I could really use your support and until next time see you in my next video. Bye!